Hello, and welcome to Silent Driving Lessons. This is the Knowing Your Traffic Signs series. Pedestrian Zone Signs Areas such as shopping streets may be signed as pedestrian zones. Depending on the extent of the vehicle entry restrictions, such areas may be paved without the usual separation between footway and carriageway and may not have yellow lines and curb markings to indicate waiting and loading restrictions. Instead restrictions are detailed on zone entry signs and repeater plates. The entry signs may indicate that buses, taxis, disabled badge holders or permit holders may enter the zone. Various examples of zone entry signs are shown here. All vehicles, including ridden pedal cycles are prohibited. The hours during which a part-time zone operates will be shown in this panel and exemptions on a lower panel. The yellow panels indicate that there are waiting restrictions within the zone. Signs without yellow panels are used where access may be more restrictive and where waiting restrictions, if any, are indicated by yellow lines within the zone. Ridden pedal cycles permitted within the zone. The hours during which a part-time zone operates will be shown in this panel and exemptions in a lower panel. Where different entry restrictions apply at different times of the day, and these restrictions are too complicated to show on the zone entry sign, a sign that can change its display, a variable message sign, may be used. It is therefore important always to check the restrictions in force before entering the zone. Examples of variable message zone entry signs showing alternative displays for the middle panel, exemptions. Two examples of waiting restriction repeater signs within the zone. There may be no yellow lines or curb markings. At the end of the zone, a zone ends sign will be displayed. The prohibitory roundel in the upper panel will be a gray version of the roundel shown on the entry sign. On street parking control signs and road markings. Waiting restrictions. Waiting restrictions are indicated by both signs and road markings. The restrictions usually apply to the whole of the highway, including verges and footways. Drivers may stop to pick up or set down passengers and, where not prohibited, to load and unload. Disabled blue badge holders can usually park for up to three hours or, in Scotland, without a time limit. Yellow lines along the edge of the carriageway, parallel to the curb, indicate that restrictions are in force. In environmentally sensitive areas, a pale shade of yellow may be used and the width of the lines may be reduced. Except in controlled parking zones, Small yellow plates are normally erected adjacent to the carriageway to give details of the times of operation of the restrictions. Where the yellow plate does not indicate the days of the week, the restrictions apply at the same times every day, including Sunday. If a bank holiday falls on a day when the restrictions are in operation, the restrictions apply in the normal way unless the plate states that they do not. Special restrictions may apply on days when a large event is being held at a nearby stadium or arena. These will be shown on the plates. Waiting prohibited 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for at least 4 consecutive months. Yellow plates are no longer used where the restriction applies all year round. Waiting prohibited between times shown on the sign. A double yellow line means no waiting at any time. The accompanying yellow plate, no waiting at any time, is gradually being phased out. Where the, at any time, restriction applies for only part of the year, e.g. during the summer months at a holiday resort, and is for at least four consecutive months, double yellow lines are used with plates giving the dates that the restrictions apply. Waiting restrictions that apply for a shorter period or for only part of the day or week are indicated by a single yellow line. This, no waiting, Sign is used on portable signs to mark temporary waiting restrictions. Length of road to be kept clear of stationary vehicles, at entrances to off-street premises or where the curb is dropped to provide a convenient crossing place for pedestrians. Loading restrictions Where loading restrictions apply in addition to waiting restrictions, loading, 
means both loading and unloading, these are indicated by both yellow curb marks and white plates. These plates may be combined with the yellow, no waiting, plates. As the marks are placed intermittently along the curb, a white plate is normally erected at the first mark, where the loading restriction begins, and may include an arrow indicating the direction along the road in which the loading restriction applies. Where a white plate does not indicate the days of the week, the restrictions apply at the same time every day, including Sunday. If a bank holiday falls on a day when the restrictions are in operation, the restrictions apply in the normal way unless the plate states that they do not. Special restrictions may apply on days when a large event is being held at a nearby stadium or arena. These will also be shown on the plates. Disabled blue badge holders may not park when loading restrictions are in force. A double curb mark means no loading at any time and is always supplemented by a no loading at any time plate. Where the at any time Restriction applies for only part of the year, e.g. during the summer months at a holiday resort, and is for at least four consecutive months. Double curb marks are used with plates giving the dates that the restrictions apply. Loading restrictions that apply for a shorter period or for only part of the day or week are indicated by a single curb mark. Loading prohibited 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for at least four consecutive months. The plate should include dates if the restriction does not apply throughout the year. Loading prohibited between times shown on the sign. Examples of waiting and loading restriction signs and markings. No waiting at any time during the summer months in the direction of the arrow. No waiting at any time throughout the year in the opposite direction, no yellow plate required. The changeover point is indicated in the carriageway by the transverse mark on the double yellow lines. No waiting at any time throughout the year in both directions. No loading to the left during the days and times shown. No loading at any time throughout the year in the opposite direction. The white plates with arrows are placed at the changeover point. There is no transverse mark on the double yellow line because the waiting restrictions do not change. No waiting and loading to the left during morning and evening peak hours on the days shown. No waiting and loading to the right from morning to evening on the days shown. The changeover point for the waiting restrictions is shown by the transverse mark on the single yellow line. The times shown for peak periods and daytime restrictions may vary. No waiting to the left during the days and times indicated. Loading is permitted at all times in this direction. Waiting and loading prohibited to the right at all times throughout the year. The prohibition of waiting shown on the upper yellow panel on the plate applies in both directions. The prohibition of loading shown on the lower white panel of the plate applies only in the direction of the arrow. In the other direction, loading is permitted at all times. The arrow applies only to the white panel on which it is placed, not to the whole plate. There is no transverse mark on the single yellow line because the waiting restrictions do not change. The prohibition of waiting shown on the yellow plate applies in both directions. No loading to the left during morning and evening peak hours on the days shown. No loading to the right from morning to evening on the days shown. The white plates with arrows are placed at the changeover point. There is no transverse mark on the single yellow line because the waiting restrictions do not change. The times shown for peak periods and daytime restrictions may vary. No waiting to the left during morning and evening peak hours. No waiting to the right from morning to evening on the days shown. No loading during morning and evening peak hours in both directions. The changeover point for the waiting restrictions is shown by the transverse mark on the single yellow line. On street parking places. On street parking places may be designated for a particular class of vehicle, e.g. solo motorcycles, or for a particular user, e.g. permit holders or disabled badge holders. Parking may be free or paid for, e.g. pay and display, or parking meters. There may be a time limit on the period of stay and a minimum time before returning to a particular parking place. Some bays may be designated for use by more than one class of vehicle or user, 
either at the same time or at different times during the day. Bays are generally marked in white, and are either continuous or divided into individual spaces. There may include words on the carriageway indicating the use of the bay, e.g. Disabled. Plates are normally erected adjacent to the carriageway to give details of the parking controls. Where a plate does not indicate the days of the week, the restrictions apply on the same times on every day, including Sunday. Where the time of day is not shown, the controls apply for 24 hours. If a bank holiday falls on a day when the controls are in operation, the controls apply in the normal way unless the plate states that they do not. Special controls may apply on days when a large event is being held at a nearby stadium or arena. These will also be shown on the plates. Parking bay with individual spaces, parallel to the curb. Parking bay with individual spaces, echelon. Continuous parking bad adjacent to the curb, words may be added outside the bay to describe the type of parking. Continuous parking bay in the center of the carriageway, the words are omitted where there is no restriction on the type of user. Solo motorcycles, motor cars, car and caravan, or motor caravan, goods vehicles. The mentioned signs indicate free on-street parking places reserved at all times, with no time limit, for particular classes of vehicles. Other signs may indicate more specific parking controls. Free parking for all vehicles from Monday to Saturday between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m., with a 20-minute time limit, no limit outside those times. Free parking for motor cars only, from Monday to Saturday between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m., with a 20-minute time limit. Free parking for solo motorcycles only, with a one-hour limit at all times. Parking for disabled badge holders only, at all times. Older signs may still show the orange badge symbol. These should have been replaced by the end of 2009. Parking for permit holders only, at all times. Parking for holders of permit, A2, only. From Monday to Saturday between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. On street pay and display parking, the arrow points towards the ticket machine. Days of the week and time periods may be added to indicate when parking must be paid for. Location of ticket machine for on-street pay and display parking. Reminder to pay and display at on-street parking place. Prepaid voucher parking only, from Monday to Saturday between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., with a two-hour time limit, lower panel. May give details of voucher. Where parking place controls do not operate at all times, any vehicle may park in the bay without payment or time limit unless other restrictions are indicated on the signs. The upper panel indicates that waiting is prohibited during the morning and evening peak hours, a single yellow line will run through the bay. The lower panel indicates time-limited parking on Monday to Saturday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m. the next day, and all day Sunday, there are no restrictions on parking. The sign indicates a parking place provided for doctors during the daytime, with a prohibition of waiting between 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m., a single yellow line will run through the bay. These restrictions apply from Monday to Friday, with the bay also reserved for doctors on Saturday between 8.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. The top panel indicates that waiting is prohibited during the morning and evening peak hours, a single yellow line will run through the bay. The middle panel indicates that loading and unloading are also prohibited during the peak hours, there will be yellow curb marks alongside the bay. The bottom panel indicates that the bay is used for pay and display parking on Monday to Saturday between 9.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Between 6.30 p.m. and 7.30 a.m. the next day, and all day Sunday, there are no restrictions on parking or loading. Parking bays may be reserved for more than one type of user, at the same time, at different times, or a combination of both. The top panel indicates that the parking controls apply from Monday to Saturday. Between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m., and between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m., the parking bay may be used only by permit holders. Between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m., the bay may be used by permit holders with no time limit, or by any other vehicle with a 20-minute time limit. 
At all other times and on Sunday the bay may be used by any vehicle without any time limit. The parking controls apply from Monday to Saturday between 7.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. During these times the bay may be used by permit holders, with no time limit, or by any other vehicle with a 20-minute time limit. The parking bay is reserved for permit holders, without time limit, at all times. Other vehicles may also use the bay, but only from Monday to Saturday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., with a 20-minute time limit. Although vehicles should not generally be parked on verges and footways, it is unlawful in London and some other cities, this may be allowed on certain narrow streets where parked vehicles would not obstruct pedestrians. There are special signs to indicate footway parking. There may also be white bays indicating where parking is permitted. Where there are controls applying to the parking place, such as pay and display, these should be indicated by separate signs. Vehicles may be parked partially on the verge or footway. Vehicles may be parked wholly on the verge or footway. Vehicles may be parked partially on the verge or footway during the times shown. End of verge or footway parking. Vehicles may be parked partially on the footway in marked bays only. Some residential streets, particularly cul-de-sac, which are reserved for permit holder parking only may not have any signs or bay markings within them, except possibly for a few repeater plates. A sign at the entrance to the street will indicate that parking is for permit holders only. Parking for permit holders only in the street or streets beyond this sign, during the times shown. Loading bays and loading areas. Special loading bays may be provided along with parking bays, or in areas where waiting and loading are otherwise prohibited. The bays may be reserved for use by goods vehicles, where indicated on signs, or may be used by all vehicles, e.g. outside shops where heavy purchases have to be carried to a car. However, these bays should not be used prior to making the purchase, by only for collection of prepaid items when they are too large or heavy to carry to where the car is parked. Once loading is complete, the vehicle must leave the bay. Some loading bays may be used for other purposes at different times of the day. For example, the bay may be reserved for blue badge holders during the day and for loading during early morning and late afternoon. In such cases the bay will not be marked, loading only, it is therefore important to read the upright signs to see who can use the bay at certain times of the day. There may be times, such as morning and evening peak periods, when loading is not permitted. In such cases there will be a single yellow line running through the bay and single, no loading, marks on the curb. Bay reserved for loading and unloading by vehicles at all times. Loading bay, conditions of use shown on upright sign. Bay reserved for loading and unloading by goods vehicles only during the times shown. Waiting and loading are prohibited from Monday to Saturday during the times shown in the top and middle panels. The bay may be used for loading only during the times shown in the bottom panel, including Sunday. Off-highway areas may be designated, loading areas, where waiting is restricted except by permitted vehicles. Signs are used without road markings to indicate this. Entrance to a loading area. Repeat a sign within a loading area. End of loading area. Controlled parking zones. Some areas are designated as controlled parking zones. The entry sign indicates the times when waiting is prohibited. The yellow lines within the zone do not normally have yellow plates indicating the times of the prohibition unless the times are different from those shown on the entry sign. It is therefore important to note the times shown when entering the zone. If there is no lower panels showing days and times, the zone operates at all times. If loading is prohibited at the same time as the waiting prohibition, the entry sign should include the words, no loading, at the bottom of the upper panel. The zone is likely to include parking places and loading bays. Some parking places may be for permit holders only, others for general use. The times when these operate should be shown on the signs at the bays. These times may not be the same as those shown on the zone entry sign. Where the majority of on-street parking within the zone is pay and display, 
the heading on the entry sign may say, Pay and Display Zone, instead of, Controlled Zone. Entrance to a controlled parking zone. End of controlled or voucher parking zone. Other headings might be, Meter Zone, where there are parking meters, or, Disc Zone, where a parking disc showing the time of arrival has to be displayed on the vehicle when parking. The entry sign to a prepaid voucher parking zone includes the voucher logo. Sign at a parking bay within a disc zone. Free parking for all vehicles, with a 30-minute time limit from Monday to Saturday between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. A parking disc indicating the time of arrival at the parking bay must be displayed in the vehicle. Entrance to a voucher parking zone. In some areas, local authorities operate special goods vehicle waiting restrictions. Usually these apply to goods vehicles of over 5 or 7.5 tons maximum gross weight. Where the same restrictions apply throughout a zone, usually overnight, the times are indicated on a zone entry sign. Within the zone there are no yellow lines, unless there are other waiting restrictions applying to all vehicles, but there should be repeater signs on each side of every street as a reminder. There are equivalent signs for buses with the bus symbol, and signs that apply to both goods vehicles and buses. Zone entry. Repeater sign indicating the times when waiting by goods vehicles over the maximum gross weight shown is prohibited. Zone exit. Restricted parking zones. In Some environmentally sensitive areas, where waiting and loading restrictions are uniform, they may be indicated by upright repeater signs, but not yellow lines and curb marks. These are known as restricted parking zones. The zone entry sign indicates the times when waiting and loading are prohibited. Where parking and loading are permitted, usually in signed bays, this should be indicated on the entry signs. The bays within the zone may be fully marked in the conventional manner or indicated by other means such as a change in surface materials. Upright signs will give details about the use of the bays. Entrance to a restricted parking zone where both waiting and loading are prohibited during the times shown in the lower panel. The words, no loading, are omitted where loading is not prohibited. Entrance to a restricted parking zone where both waiting and loading are prohibited at all times but where parking and loading bays have been provided. The words, no loading, are omitted where loading is not prohibited. Repeater sign within a restricted parking zone. The lower panel is omitted where loading is not prohibited. End of restricted parking zone. Clearways. The red cross means no stopping not even to pick up or set down passengers. The sign is used to indicate a 24-hour clearway, usually on a rural road, or may be incorporated into other signs with the words, no stopping, e.g. the, no stopping except local buses, sign at bus stops. On a 24-hour clearway, the prohibition of stopping applies only to the main carriageway. You may stop in a lay-by unless there are signs to say otherwise. A 24-hour clearway does not have any special road markings, but there should be smaller repeater signs at approximately one-mile intervals. Start of 24-hour clearway, no stopping on main carriageway at any time for the distance shown. End of 24-hour clearway. This sign is used on a 24-hour clearway where waiting is prohibited on the verge or footway in addition to the prohibition of stopping on the main carriageway. The words, on verge or footway, may be varied to, on verge, or, on footway. Where the, no waiting, symbol is replaced by the red cross, stopping on the verge or footway is prohibited. In built-up areas, urban clearways may be provided. During the times the urban clearway is in operation, stopping is not allowed on the carriageway or verges, except to pick up or set down passengers. There are no special road markings but the signs are repeated throughout the length of the clearway. End of urban clearway. Stopping in lay-by not allowed, except in an emergency, similar to hard shoulders on a motorway. This may not apply to the whole lay-by. The length over which stopping is prohibited will be indicated by double yellow lines. These lay-bys usually have an emergency telephone. Yellow zigzag markings outside schools, 
hospitals, or fire, police or ambulance stations indicate the length of road where you should not stop, not even to pick up or set down children or other passengers. Where there is an upright sign, there is a mandatory prohibition of stopping during the times shown. These markings are provided outside schools to ensure that children can see and be seen clearly when crossing the road. Red routes. On red routes, yellow waiting restriction lines are replaced by red lines that mean no stopping for any purpose, not even to pick up or set down a disabled person, but must not park. Double red lines mean no stopping at any time. Single red lines mean no stopping during the days and times shown on the upright sign. The prohibition of stopping applies to the whole road, including the verge and footway, during the times shown on upright signs that face oncoming traffic. Special bays marked on the carriageway may be provided for parking or loading. The conditions that apply to these will be indicated on upright signs that should also face oncoming traffic. A bay marked with red broken lines means that it is available for use for only part of the time that the red route, no stopping, rule applies. The bay must not be used from Monday to Saturday between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. nor between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. In this example, the bay may be used for loading, unloading, max stay 20 minutes, and by blue badge holders, max stay 3 hours, during the times shown in the bottom panel. A bay marked with white broken lines means that it is available for use at all times that the red route, no stopping, rule applies. The upright sign shown in this example means that the bay is reserved for blue badge holders, with a maximum stay of 3 hours. Licensed taxis may pick up or set down passengers at bus stops on a red route where there is a broad continuous yellow line at the edge of the carriageway, but not if the broad line is red. Drivers of vehicles displaying a blue disabled badge are not permitted to stop for any purpose in a bus stop bay where there is either a broad yellow or broad red line. Some red routes have upright signs without any road markings. These are designated red route clearways, where stopping for any purpose is prohibited at all times, except in marked laybys. Unlike the 24-hour clearway on rural roads, stopping on a red route clearway is prohibited on the verge and footway as well as on the main carriageway. There should be red lines at junctions to warn drivers entering the clearway from a side road. Start of a red route clearway, also used as a repeater sign, particularly after a road junction. End of red route clearway. Taxi ranks. Taxi ranks usually have yellow bays marked with the word, taxis. Where the bay is used for other purposes, e.g. loading and unloading, at a different time of day, the bay will be white without any words. Either waiting or stopping will be prohibited within a taxi rank. Where stopping is prohibited, the bay includes a broad continuous yellow line at the edge of the carriageway. Where waiting is prohibited in taxi ranks, yellow, no waiting, lines are provided where waiting is white because it has shared use. Yellow upright signs show the times when waiting or stopping is prohibited in the rank. No waiting in taxi rank during the times shown. No stopping in taxi rank during the times shown. The bay includes a broad continuous line to indicate the prohibition of stopping. Waiting is prohibited at all times, indicated by double yellow lines. The taxi rank operates from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. every day. The taxi rank operates every day between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Waiting is otherwise prohibited from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, and loading is prohibited during the morning and evening peak hours from Monday to Friday. The sign shows the times when the bay is used as a taxi rank, overnight, and when it is used for loading by goods vehicles, during the day from Monday to Saturday. At other times there are no restrictions on parking. The single yellow line is replaced by a broad yellow line if stopping by other vehicles is prohibited during the times the bay is used by taxis. This will be indicated in the upper panel of the sign, where the no waiting symbol is replaced by the red cross and the words no waiting varied to no stopping, information boards may be provided at taxi ranks.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.